Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 19th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this uh, tutorial I'm going to be explaining algebraic properties some more, and we're going to talk about the distributive property today. So the distributive property looks like this. You have some number, we'll just call it A, and then we're going to multiply that number by a couple other numbers added together inside parentheses, so B plus C. So this is basically saying that we're going to add B and C first. By order of operations, we do what's inside the parentheses first. So we're adding B plus C together, and then that result we're going to multiply by whatever A is. And the distributive property tells us that that's equivalent to multiplying A times B, and then adding that result to A times C. So how did we get from here to here? Well, the distributive property basically distributes the A inside the parentheses. And so basically what we do is we take the A and we distribute it to the B, and that gets us our A times B term, A times B. And then we distribute once more to the C, A times C. So we put the plus sign here because it's in the middle, and then we do the A times the C, just like we did the A times the B. So that's how we get this result over here. We distribute the A times the B, and then add that to the A times the C. So let's choose some numbers for A, B, and C so that we can use this example here. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this part since it's written right here already. So we're going to say that we'll just choose A is 4, we'll choose B to be Oh, I don't know, 3, and C will choose to be 5. And we're going to check to see if that's equal to A, which we said was 4, times B, which we said was 3, and then that plus A, like we said, was 4, times C, we said, was 5. So we're going to check to make sure that this works. So 4 times 3 plus 5. Doing uh, order of operations, we do what's inside the parentheses first. So this is going to be 3 plus 5. And 3 plus 5 gives us 8. And then we're going to take that result and multiply it by the 4. And on this side, we're going to do the multiplication first because order of operations says we do multiplication before addition. So this is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. And then we're going to add that to 4 times 5 which is 20. So over here we have 4 times 8, and 4 times 8 is equal to 32, and 12 times 20 is equal to 32 as well. So you can see from this example that the distributive property works. So let's just go ahead and do another example here. We'll practice the distributive property, and let's say that we have 5, and we're going to multiply that by 7 plus 2. And instead of doing it the way that I did on the left hand side the last time, we're going to do this method right here. So this is going to be 5 times 7 distributing the 5 into the 7. So 5 times 7 and this is going to be 5 distributed into the 2. 5 times 2 and then we can just evaluate this. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And then we have 35 plus 10 equals 45. So we distributed the 5 into the parentheses and then carried out the multiplication first and then added the results together to get the result 45. So just to have this sink in, I, I might as well do it on this side as well. If we were to do this side, we do what's inside the parentheses first because that's what order of operation tells us to do. 7 plus 2 is going to give us 9. And then that result multiplied by the 5. 5 times 9 equals 45. So there you go. There's some examples of the distributive property and how it works. So this is kind of important to know as we get deeper into algebra. So anyway, stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. Um, and you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And you can see all of my videos on learnmathtutorials.com or youtube.com forward slash learnmathtutorials. Thanks for watching.